Well, no guess. Fellow Toastmasters, what type do you want? But more specifically, what body type do you want? So this is inspired by a few different conversations, a few different athletic events that we've had, talking about what kind of exercise should you do? And what's your goal? What do you want to get out of it? So as an example, things that you can't change. You're either an ectomorph, endomorph, or mesomorph. So you're either thin, medium, large. You can't change that. And this is kind of stretched. I, don't, I tried to change it, but this is the typical discussion that people have when they talk about what kind of exercise. They either say you, you, run, you run long or you run fast. And if you run fast, you don't have lots of muscles. And if you run long, you'll look like a concentration camp survivor. But there's more. These guys were identical twins in Germany around the Second World War. Now, up until high school, they both did track events together. After high school, this one started lifting weights. And this one kept running track for four years. So this is the difference he got after four years. So thinking about if you're just going to run versus if you're going to just, just run and lift weights, you get two different results. And then it's typically boiled down to something like this. This is just a, an image that was online. So would you rather have more muscles and curves or really thin and skinny and anemic looking? But I'm going to tell you there's different ways to look at it. Because it's not always just the exercise that makes you. It's how you balance the other things. So let me talk about five areas. Talk about health, mobility, function, attribution, physique. Now, a couple of the ones that may not be obvious. The mobility obviously just means your ability to move and be healthy with your joints. Function means being able to do something with your body. Attributes are things like higher, faster, stronger, so ways that you measure, measure your body. Now, these are some examples of what happens if you only focus on one area and leave off the other areas. So if you only focus on being able to move around, then you may end up a contortionist, which is great as long as you do the other stuff too. So I'm going to show some examples of other things. So this might be the priority set for this person. So first they want to be mobile, and then they want to be able to do stuff, then they want to be stronger, and so on. Now your athletes, they typically focus on the function, that they can do their sport, that they can survive the fight. So they typically will have function focus, then they want to be able to move, then they want to be stronger, they want to be healthy so they can go and participate, and then they really don't care what they look like. This is an image from CrossFit competition, and I'm not trying to pick on CrossFit, but they always seem to get the short end of some discussions. And so you can see in this competition, in the background, they're all doing deadlift competitions or something like that. And this guy has just injured his shoulder somehow. So this would be an attribute focus, where they're talking about being stronger all the time without thinking about other things like being able to do something with that strength. So they, the second thing is they want to be able to do things like your crazy pull-ups that they do or other different things they do. Then they want to look good. If they don't focus on being able to move, that's when you start getting injuries. And of course, health is just in there somewhere. And then we've got the guys that are only focused on how they look. They then focus on being strong. Then they focus on being able to do things. They really don't focus much on being able to move. And so if you've seen some of these guys, they don't move very well, most of them. And then health. Obviously, taking steroids is terrible for your health long term. So what does it look like if you focus on your health? Health is first. Being able to move comes second. Because if you can't move, you can't do the rest of it. Then it's being able to do something useful with your body. Then it's higher, faster, stronger. And as a byproduct, if you focus on all these things first, the body comes out looking pretty well good. So what do I mean by health? These are a couple of things. So 
Health, this is the exercise part. So if you're going to focus on health, you've got all sorts of things like recovery, stress management, nutrition, and sleep. So it's not just about being a sprinter versus a marathon runner. It's looking at your life in a holistic way and having a healthy, healthy, beautiful looking body if that's the type you'd like to be. Again, those were the attributes if you focus on health. So I encourage you all to choose health as long as you have the option to. And good luck to you. This is Thank you so much, Liz. I couldn't understand that the last one, there was no picture of a guy.